I have joined this religious life because I have experienced a lot of blessings and love from the Lord and I would like to uh, love God back. Um, I wanted to give my whole life to God. And when I encountered the Laredo sisters, what initially attracted me was their mission and their charism. Um, they're, they're focused on social justice and then they have this international dimension to the institute that was very attractive to me. They invited me to become a sister. She said, you'd make a very good sister. And I thought, mm, I don't know about that. But that invitation got me thinking and thinking. I felt in love with the Loretto sisters' way of life. Even today, Mary Watt's courage, conviction, and her passion continues to inspire me. Hubo muchos altibajos. Yo no quería tener vocación. Pero la gente que me conocía sabía que algo dentro de mí estaba, estaba en evolución. Cuando las veía, cuando trabajaban en salud, en educación, pues yo decía, yo también quiero ser como ellas. I met the Loreto sisters and uh, they were so wholesome, happy, whole. They were uh, lively and communicated very normally with me. Cuando yo termino la secundaria, pido a las hermanas para entrar en la congregación, pero me dijeron que era muy jovencita, que todavía tenía que seguir los estudios. One thing inspires me, that is, refer all to God. Whatever happens in my work places, especially working with this kind of children, I also feel very disturbed and sometimes sad and depressed. But I am able to turn to God every day, each moment. Mary Ward says, you live in a joy. And I feel I find joy in finding God in everything especially to the people around me. Me apasiona eh, el carisma, la espiritualidad de Mary Ward. Me apasiona el seguimiento de Jesús. Y quiero comprometer mi vida por el bien común y el bien especialmente de la gente que más necesita. Donde la necesidad sea mayor. The spirit of Mary Ward, I just found that it's still alive within me. She was very courageous, she was very passionate, she was very loving, and so that the spirit of freedom she had. When I was as early as 17, I, I started going to church on my own. And in the church, I found a little book called uh, The Love of God. And I began to pray this every day. And I think actually at that age, I just fell in love with God. And it was very deep and very rich. I heard the Lord say to me, Tu as du prix à mes yeux, et je t'aime. I love you as you are. You are precious for me. And this was profound and deep, knowing how important I am in God's eyes. I'm hopeful that the future of this province will be in good hands. I can see young, responsible women who are enthusiastic and focused, all for the greater glory of God. The Institute Leadership Team, we have the opportunity to go and listen to sisters all around the world bring that message of love um, at the center of the ministry that we all do through education, through teaching, through medicine, through social work, through whatever we do, it's a message of love. I could just see myself living fully as myself, as God created me to be in this institute. Sigo en el instituto, feliz y contenta, y no cambiaría mi vida por nada en el mundo.